Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm running a short devotional on every chapter of the Bible that I'm sharing those with you. Today we're looking at 1 Chronicles chapter 23. Does your devotional life bring order and meaning to your life? In 1 Chronicles 23 verses 30 to 32, David communicated clear expectations to the Levites. They are to stand every morning to think and to praise the Lord, and likewise at evening, and to offer all burnt offerings to the Lord on the Sabbaths, the new moons and the fixed festivals and the numbers set by the ordinance concerning them, continually before the Lord. Thus they are to keep charge of the tent of meeting and charge of the holy place, and charge of the sons of Aaron their relatives, for the service of the house of the Lord. It's a great quote. It is important that we, like the Levites, have clear expectations upon the rhythms and responsibilities of our life of devotion to God. It is critical to know when we do what we do. The rhythms of worship provide a framework for our lives. Equally essential, we need to know why we do what we do. The responsibilities of worship give meaning and purpose to those rhythms. Knowing your rhythms and responsibilities of worship brings order and meaning to your life because we are shaped by that which we devote ourselves. I encourage you to write a rule of life which serves as a trellis on which you can grow in Christ and bear fruit for His glory. Now, don't be intimidated by the word rule. The word comes from the Greek for trellis. A trellis is a tool that enables a grapevine to get off the ground and grow upward, becoming more fruitful and productive. In the same way, a rule of life is a trellis that helps us abide in Christ and become more fruitful spiritually. Now, I got some of these insights from Peter Scazzaro's book, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. I encourage you to read that book. Now, Jesus promised in John 15, verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. When our devotional life becomes the framework of our lifestyles, then we are filled with the spiritual vitality that comes from abiding in the vine of God and his love for us through his son, Jesus Christ, regardless of our circumstances. Seize the moment and develop your rule of life by journaling about your rhythms and responsibilities of worship daily, weekly, monthly, seasonally, and annually. Seize the moment.